Navigating the Lesson Activity Toolkit in Smart Notebook Software. One of the features in Smart's Notebook Software is the Lesson Activity Toolkit. This section features interactive templates that can be customized accordingly and provides an interactive element into a traditional lesson plan. The collection contains customizable tools and templates, including activities, games, and graphics that you can use to create professional-looking, interactive, and engaging lessons. Let's start with opening the notebook software and selecting the Gallery tab. You will see there is a folder titled Lesson Activity Toolkit 2.0. Double-click the plus sign to open the folder and view the categories. In this folder, the categories are organized into subfolders, such as activities, examples, games, graphics, pages, and tools. Double click each category folder to view it, such as pictures, interactive and multimedia, notebook files, and pages. The examples folder contains sample activities, layering, and pages, as well as a help folder for containing links to online resources, such as the Smart Exchange and instructional videos. Explore these files to learn how to use a game or activity in class, or to see creative uses for some of the available tools. The Examples folder will contain pre-made lesson activities that you may find useful in your class, or you may easily edit the contents to suit your lesson plan. Let me demonstrate a few of the sample examples available. In the Activities folder, I want to show you the Vortex Image activity. I'm going to scroll down through my choices. Okay, and I'm going to click and drag the Vortex Sort Image activity onto my screen. We have two Vortex boxes, each labeled differently. One is for meat and fish, and the other is for fruit and vegetable. And down below are the images. When you choose an image, you decide which Vortex it should go into. And if it goes into the correct Vortex, then it gets sucked into the vortex. If the image goes in the incorrect vortex, it spins itself back out. Okay, you can also do the same activity using text. And in this activity, we have odd numbers and even numbers. So, of course, you can see that you can customize this accordingly to your lesson.